Good afternoon. My name is Minister Tracy Newman with New Mount Olive Baptist Church, where Lavina Johnson Smith is our pastor and teacher. I come to bring you words of encouragement as we enter into a new month, the month of November 2021. We are two months away from the end of the year, and God has truly been preserving us. I want to talk today about Preserve Me, O God, coming from Psalms 16 and 1, and it reads as such, Preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. This scripture is telling us that we must have confidence in God for all things. David appeals in this passage is a plea, a request, when he states, Preserve me, O God. I believe he is unsure of what he exactly, what exactly he wants to be preserved from. But the, he is appealing for God to intercede on his behalf. According to the dictionary, preserve means to keep safe from injury, harm, destruction, protection, to keep alive, intact, or free from decay. What has God been preserving you from in these past almost 11 months? We've been through a COVID pandemic. We've been through job losses. We've been through a lot, losing family members, and truly God has been preserving us. David moves ahead from this petition by declaring and revealing as to what he wants God to do for him. He is seeking God as his refuge, and he knows that all good pleasures will only come from God. David is requesting that God put a hedge of protection all around him, protecting him from all dangers seen and unseen. He completely believes that God is the only one who can preserve the righteous. This scripture further declares that David was helped and preserved in all his ways. David was also has also declared in another scripture that God has kept Israel and he neither slumbers nor sleep. Don't you know that God is always attentive to our needs? The Lord is the keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not spite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. And that's according to Psalms 121, four through seven. Here again, David is telling us that God is always alert and watchful. He's always attentive to our every needs and he gives us that blessed assurance that he is truly ours. What has God been preserving you from? When there's been danger seen and unseen, when we don't know if we're coming or going, don't you know that God is in complete control? He said that he will keep us in perfect peace as long as we keep our mind stayed on him. Is your mind still on him? Or has your mind wandered off because you've been going through some storms? Don't you know that we will go through some storms and we will go through some trials? But God said he would not leave us nor forsake us. He said, yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, that you shall fear no evil. That right there is letting us know that he's going to preserve us. Whatever we're going through, whatever our situation looked like, it's not the end. God knows the perfect plan. He knew us when he, we were created in our mother's womb. He know every strand of hair on our head. He know our beginning from our ending. He knows our yesterdays as well as our tomorrows. God is preserving us. Look back and think about over these past 10 months, what has God been doing for you from January through October? And now we're entering in November. We have two months left until 2021 ends. God is truly preserving us. He has kept us from a lot of things. Things we thought that we felt that we were going to give up. We thought we had lost hope. But we know that our God is a just God. He's a great God and worthy to be praised. So as we end up, go through the month of November, carrying us over to December, I want you to think about God and his goodness and what he has brought us to and what he has brought us from and where he's going to take us.
You know, God won't take you anywhere unless he equipped you. But we have to be cautious in our being equipped because we have a tendency to move when we want to move and not allowing God to us to move when God says for us to move. He's preserving our mind. He's preserving our heart. He's preserving each and every one of us. He wants us to get ourselves together. So think about these next two months as we close out the end of the year. What has God preserved you from? We know, preserve me, O God, for in thee do I put my trust. It's in him that he's putting our trust in. It's in him that we move, live, and have our beings. Maybe there is someone today who is having a difficulty acknowledging God's yearning to preserve their life. I would encourage you to read Psalms 37, which tells us the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delighteth in his ways. Though he fails, he shall not be utterly cast down for the Lord uphold him with his hands. God is going to uphold you and he's going to bring you through. So be encouraged, stay encouraged, and know that God is truly able. And I thank you and have a great day.